What's going on YouTube? And I'm bringing you a nice little commentary slash overview over the NHL changes, um, conference realignment especially, and some other changes that should accompany it. Um, so yeah, if you guys haven't heard, they're switching to a four conference system. Now, this needed 20 votes to pass by the GMs, and it got 26. Only four people voted against it, so they must be pretty good. And, you know, I don't know who would have voted against it, but rumors have people voting against it at Tampa and New York Rangers, but don't quote me against that. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so what you're going to notice is that there's two eight-team conferences and two seven-team conferences. The eight-team conferences make up the quote-unquote West. Um, the one conference will feature teams like Anaheim, LA, San Jose, Phoenix, Colorado, Vancouver, Calgary, and Edmonton, whereas in the other you'll see teams like Dallas, St. Louis, Chicago, Minnesota, Winnipeg, Nashville, Detroit, and Columbus. Now, it's going to be interesting because there are two eight teams, but the reason why there are two eight teams in the West and only two seven in the East is because no one knows what is going to happen with Phoenix. And I'll explain that later on. But I will go over the 217 conferences right here. And they are in the east. Um, you have Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, Buffalo, Boston, and Florida in one. And Tampa Bay in that one too. And then the final conference is going to be the Rangers, the Islanders, the Flyers, the Penguins, the Capitals, and the Hurricanes. Um, there's definitely going to be some more Crosby Ovechkin blood. Hopefully Ovechkin can step up this game. But the first thing you're going to notice and think about is how will playoffs work if there's four conferences? So what's going to happen is this is going to go back to like the Smith and Norris divisions, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't know if there are any more, but you're going to have in the conference itself, the first two rounds of the playoffs will strictly be inside the conference. So you're going to have the first place in the conference versus the fourth place in the conference, and the second place in the conference, versus in the third place of the conference in the first round. From there, you're going to have the winners face off in the conference finals, or semifinals, um, depending on how you look at it. Um, but the winner of the conference finals for each conference goes into the third round, and it's still yet to be determined how they're going to be seeded, but it sounds like it's going to be on regular season points. That makes the most logical sense to me. Um, so you're going to have... Team 1 with the most points versus Team 4, and Team 2 versus Team 3. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool to see. It's going to be it's gonna be shocking. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be in for a shock watching this. Uh, it's gonna, It could create potentially an all-Western team final or an all-Eastern team final. Uh, it's kind of shocking when you think about it, you know. But it's also going to mean some other things. It means that... The finals won't necessarily be between the two top teams. For example, you could have two teams within the conference. So, say Phoenix and Colorado are like two top teams, both like led the NHL. They're not gonna. One of them's not gonna make it past the second round. That's gonna be pretty shocking, you know, uh, when you think about it. That one team's not gonna make it into the second round, even though they were like second in the NHL. It could happen, whether it will or not, no one knows. But you know the potential's there for that. Um, they could be there could be some early exits, you know, and all that good stuff. But um, it'll be it'll be interesting. You're gonna see more rivalries because of the interdivisional playoffs. You're gonna see more rivalries because of the conference play. Um, you know, it's just gonna it's gonna drastically change the NHL. Um, not like completely, but it's really gonna change it for the next couple of years. Because with the conference realignment comes a schedule change. Now, you don't have the divisional games like they have had lately where you play like your own divisional teams four times at home and four times on the road or something ridiculous like that. Um, and then your own conference teams. And then you play every two years out of three, you have a Eastern Team Conference at your home um, or Eastern Team Conference game at home, like opposite conference. Um, it's all going to change now because you play one game at home and one game on the road versus each team every year. So that's going to be really cool for smaller markets like Phoenix and they'll draw bigger names like Crosby and it'll help their attendance and it'll help their pocketbooks. Um, I, know, I don't know how many people realize that at first, but you know that's kind of the first thing I thought of when I looked at it. It's just kind of like, wow, this is really going to benefit those types of teams. Um, yeah, uh, after that, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting as far as like I said all star game earlier but you know like is there gonna be a four way hockey game um yeah 
that'd be kind of cool, you know, like have a giant NHL sized rink with four nets on it or something, something ridiculous like that for the All Star game. But uh, yeah, why there's two A team conferences? So this is what a question a lot of people have, and you know, it's kind of logical when you think about it, but um, it's really, 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 really makes sense uh, to have Phoenix in an eight team conference. Because no one knows what the future of that the team is, but you know they're kind of hinting at it right now. Um, that there's two eight team conferences and then there's two seven in the West. Um, so you're gonna see potentially that it could be foreshadowing a bit that Phoenix is moving out east. So you know rumors places are like Kansas City. I don't know how far. Or Kansas City is one, uh, Seattle, which I don't see happening personally, um, uh, Quebec City, which I could easily see happening, Hamilton, I doubt Hamilton will get one, I think Gary Bettman's pretty opposed to that, but, uh, yeah, and then you're gonna see, you're gonna see this new kind of NHL strike over, um, I think what they need to do next is they need to add a new point system. And this is going to be real key, especially when it comes into the finals. I think they're going to need to change a two-point regulation win to three, so every game is a three-point game. Um, it'll kind of bring it like the Olympics are and stuff like that. And it really, it seems to really help out. Like it gets the best teams in there rather than the teams that consistently win in overtime. Um, if you win like, say, if you lose in overtime or try to force overtime and you could get that three points, it's gonna make it's gonna make a drastic difference. Uh you guys can kinda you can kinda see where it goes. Um at the end of the year I'll link you guys to a stat sheet that I do every year and it it generally fluctuates about two teams out of the playoffs and moves some people in the first and the last, stuff like that. Just very little stuff like that. Uh it's kinda it's kinda cool. Um but it's also kind of really geeky by me. But, you know, I'm a huge hockey fan, so it's what I do. Um, now, it's definitely going to benefit those small market teams. I don't think it's going to harm the big market teams. But it could harm, you know, the teams that got to see Crosby four or five times a year beforehand. And now may not. Because um, I think the remainder of the conference games will, or the remainder of the games are going to be in their conference only. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if that's true, but I think what they should do is they should just make it an all-around season, like play every team so many times and stuff like that. I think that'd be pretty cool, but I really doubt it happening. Um, yeah, so I don't know what your guys' thoughts and opinions on this, but I want to hear them in the comment section below. Um, if you like the video, please like it. Um, it really helps grow my channel. If you're new and you want to hear more NHL 12 stuff, as well as I do Call of Duty commentaries and stuff like that, you feel free to hit that subscribe button. Um, it only takes two seconds, and it really helps me out. And other than that, guys, pretty much stay tuned and take it easy. Uh, I'll shorten this 23-minute NHL gameplay into about, I don't know, nine minutes for you guys. Uh, so, yeah. Um, anyways, peace out, and as always, take it easy.